NASA and SpaceX have a significant history of sharing a love-hate relationship. Where SpaceX hates unnecessary regulations from the government agency, NASA does not like SpaceX because of the way it's always challenging NASA's programs by bringing in new technology and groundbreaking innovation. And SpaceX has done it again by putting its Starship out on the market, and this time NASA wants it cancelled. Today we're going to discuss the insider news that NASA wants the Starship program to get cancelled. What's the reason behind it? Well, stick around till the end to find that out. Starship is SpaceX's flagship project established for making spatial and orbital travel more accessible, frequent and cheap. The very first goal of Starship is to take humans to the moon, and after that it will be used for more deep space explorations. It's currently under its testing and prototyping phases, but from the looks of it, the project is quite promising. This 120 meter long spaceship with a payload carrying capability of over 100 metric tons is truly a masterpiece. It's like SpaceX has been able to come up with something that the world has never seen before. When Elon announced the project, everyone was in doubt that how he is going to make it possible. Imagine a completely reusable spaceship that has a lot of carrying capacity and its operating costs are just a small portion of what was being spent previously. Yes, even imagining was difficult back then, so with time many ifs and buts started to revolve around this project. However, one thing was certain, sooner or later the world will see a starship. And with its blueprints getting published somewhere after 2010, the curiosity around SpaceX's new ship increased. Although Starship hasn't taken any official flight yet, and even failed a lot of its orbital tests conducted from the Starbase at SpaceX's Texas facility, this project remains one of the crucial ones, as it is going to disrupt the space industry. As failures are not stopping SpaceX from moving forward with their marvelous project, in fact, Elon said, if you're not failing, that means you're not innovating. So we can see what the ambitions of SpaceX are, and with every test, they are getting better and better. Even though a confirmed date of the official launch hasn't been announced by SpaceX, earlier it was shared that we could see the first official flight in 2022, which has not yet happened. So I guess we will probably have to wait for the next year. That was just the basic overlook of what Starship is, and now let's talk about why you came here for. That is to know why NASA wants SpaceX's Starship to get cancelled. So NASA had for the longest time enjoyed an unrivaled situation by strongly holding the reins to space exploration, especially after landing the astronauts on the moon. It has become an unrivaled force. NASA was just so successful that even the space programs from countries like Russia and China couldn't take away its monopoly in the industry. However, then came SpaceX with its reusable and low-cost space carriers which started the industry. SpaceX's very successful projects like Dragon and Falcon 9 have proved to the world that there is a lot of room for innovation when it comes to building rockets and spacecraft. Once again, there is a race going on for building a spaceship that can take our fellow humans on a lunar trip, where SpaceX has developed Starship for it there is a project that NASA is working on called the Space Launch System, or SLS, under which they are developing a new rocket with the aim of landing crew on the lunar surface. The SLS project was launched around 18 years ago, and its sole aim was to take humans once again for an orbital tour. But you see, even after all these years have gone by, this project hasn't even taken its test flight. Every time it's supposed to launch, a random problem occurs, and the launch is delayed. The very first date of the SLS space rocket's launch announced by NASA was back in 2016. Then in 2017, 18, 19, and so on. But now that we are just about to enter 2023 and still the rocket is standing silently in the Kennedy Space Center's 39B launch pad, which says a lot about the success of this project. The latest we heard was that it will be launched in August of 2022 then it was delayed to September, October, and now November. However, the rocket is to date idling at the Space Center on its mobile launch tower. The SLS project was quite ambitious when it was initiated, but today, when we have so many better models out there, it's just not the right machine. Over $50 billion have been spent on this project, and we are still not sure how successful it is. Considering the money and time spent on it, one thinks that it will be a great rocket. But no, it's not. 
For one, it has a major downgrade in terms of technology when compared to SpaceX's Starship. SLS rocket is a non-reusable rocket which means once it takes flight, it can't be used again. Compare this to Starship, it is completely reusable which not only decreases the cost of operation but makes space travel more sustainable. And that's just one of the things where Starship dominates the NASA SLS rocket, from its mid-space refueling to taking a tour around space with the crew inside and coming back to Earth, SpaceX is building a phenomenal machine. And that is the reason why NASA wants to get SpaceX's Starship program cancelled. NASA is a governmental agency which means money will keep flowing even if they are lagging in technology and innovation. Whereas SpaceX is a private entity that has so much to gain from incorporating the latest tech in its rockets. Previously when NASA was all alone in the industry, it was comfortable with doing whatever it thought was right. But now when we have other private agencies coming up with better projects that too at a fraction of the price, stakeholders have started questioning NASA and that's not a place where it wants to be. Starship has made a lot of people question NASA's SLS project. Obviously, the authorities that were never doubted or questioned before are now getting frustrated. As we know, the biggest cost in building a rocket comes from its materials. And when you consider the fact that an SLS rocket becomes redundant after just one mission, this becomes even more concerning, as it means that for every new mission, NASA needs to develop a new rocket. Even a layman can understand how expensive that endeavor is, and this time again, instead of using the new technology for their SLS rockets that could make them reusable, NASA took the old approach, which means that once the SLS rocket is done with its mission, it will become redundant. On one hand, there's SpaceX always coming up with something revolutionary, and then there is NASA, which can't even get its very basic rocket off the Earth's surface. What will they do about it? Let's leave that for time to tell. At this point, the only way NASA can be relieved is by finally launching the SLS rocket because SpaceX and Starship are here already, and once Starship is launched, the world will witness real greatness. NASA can hate Starship all day long, but the world knows what it's capable of, and it's here to stay. On that note, I'll end this video here. I hope you liked it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.